I'm Marissa Sarbach in Phoenix, Arizona. For days, we have been following a story about the Department of Health Services suspending the health care license of one of the mental health hospitals here in Phoenix. Tonight, we spoke with a dad who says his son was inside that mental health hospital at the time the HVAC failure occurred. I mean, it makes me sad that we went through this with him was very scared, very, very upsetting. Justin Marshall says his son spent a week at St. Luke's Behavioral Health in Phoenix last year when he was dealing with mental health struggles. And he says there were no issues. But this time, when he needed help and went back to the facility, he says things were different. I got a call from St. Luke's about an open bed. Um, so we signed consents for him to be transferred there on Thursday midday. And then <clears throat> he was there overnight. And then we received a I received a call in the morning on Friday morning, um, you know, that the AC was out and that they were going to work on transporting uh, the kids to other facilities. And then we got another call uh, about 45 minutes later saying that we needed to come pick them up and transport them. An ADHS report confirms the air conditioning went out on Thursday afternoon, meaning, according to Justin, he wasn't notified until the next day. I went into the lobby. It was hot in there. While I was waiting there, they were releasing. Uh, adult patients with bus passes and then I did see adult patients being transported by ambulance and then cars coming in two different cars coming in with like loads of Gatorade um, that were being taken into the facility. Justin says an ambulance transport was not offered to his family. He also says he warned the staff at St. Luke's that his son was still unstable and this disruption in care would likely impact his cooperation once they got on the road to head to another facility. He just was trying to open the car door, wanting to get out. So at one point he did have the door open and I kind of pulled to the side, put the hazards on. Justin called 911 and Mesa police confirmed to ABC 15 their officers responded to help finish the transport. He was like, why don't we give you a ride? Um, and so he got in the back of the, the police car and transported to mine 24 seven. And um, because it was a transfer with PD, they took him right in. A stressful situation, but Justin is now advocating for better mental health care in the state because he's not the only parent dealing with a child who needs help. This is my adopted son. You know, he's been with us uh, since 2015 and we just want the best for him. And, you know, sometimes it breaks your heart to have to try and get stability outside the home at times. According to the state, St. Luke's had other health and safety issues at the Phoenix facility beyond just the HVAC system leading to their operations being suspended. We reached out to Steward Health, the parent company of St. Luke's here in Phoenix, requesting an on-camera interview or an updated statement. They did not respond to our request for comment. We are expecting to learn more about the future of St. Luke's suspension and a possible revoking of their health care license at a hearing on August 29th. Marissa Sarbach here in Phoenix, Arizona.